support Pango or a support Puck, but it does seem to be an offlane Pango being played by Ice Ice Ice. Well, I actually wonder, is... It would be interesting to look at the stats in terms of... Here, he's got the double range creep from the dire side pushing into him. Top lane. A... Mid lane, okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, just the, that's just the solo kill. Yeah, Jabs has been doing a really good job of kind of getting up in their face, trading his regen. Nice, nice, nice going down bot lane. Matthew going down. Well, he denies himself off, but Jabs does get the uh, the kill. This is probably one of the, uh, arguably one of the worst starts I've ever seen from Ice Ice Ice. It's, he looks to be struggling I mean, quite a lot. What can he even do here? Is TP still on cooldown for a while? Cookie gonna land in the tree line. He's just he's just stuck in the base. I mean, he's wasting support time, and I guess he is stacking the waves. So he may kind of sort out the equilibrium in that bot lane a little bit. But he's even gonna just run towards the fountain, gets a fairy fire, uses that. Leo Star now actually joining in on the Lesh rack, and Ice 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 actually gonna manage to get out of there somehow. My God! All right. So he bought a salve as well. <laughs> oh man. Maybe that's the plan. Leo style mid lane though, in trouble, does go down to the Astral Step of Moon, but Moon now going to be traded to Matthew. Leo giving the tip to Moon, but I think Moon is still going to be very satisfied with what just happened. There's top lane, Frank going to find 23 oh. Savage, but now Jabs probably going to be able to find the trade. Or maybe not, Frank no. is running. Okay. Alright, completely whiffs on the Scatter Blast, not even close. Still, you just walk away as Savage does get Frank up at the top lane. and well, Frank was left alone. Mid lane, though, Leo Star gonna be in trouble again. Moon diving. He does get the kill, but once again, Matthew will find the trade, and Leo Star once again will provide the tip. He dies. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. DJ getting run down here with the roots. Uh, this. I think this Troll Warlord's gonna get a little bit. Out of control. This would all be looking great if the Morphling was, I think, significantly out farming the troll or winning his lane heavily, but that's just not the case. And Troll's going for the like super early game build, just rushing into Fusel. So he's gonna be online pretty quickly. We want to yeah. kill. Should be able to set up here. The troll would be huge if they could find it, but he does have battle trance up and ready to go. Moon, Fortune's End gonna fly out. He does go for the remnant, but it is juked out. MNZ. Savage. Top lane. Does go down. Leo style with the rotation on the left track. And Matthew once again on the snap fire. Yeah, he got caught up by an invis. Nice, nice, nice. Now also going down. MNZ. He pops the battle trance. And Moon wants to continue this chase. He does astral step forward. DJ even getting the silence off. But do they don't really have the damage. MNZ. He's going to be able to salve up in the tree line. This Savage is going to stick around. They seemingly want to keep going. Savage. Way form away. And uh, while all this is happening, poor Ice 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 dies again to Frank up at the top lane. Moon is going to try and find a trade, but we do have a pause coming out. had the ambition of getting level 6 up here, but Frank not going to give him that opportunity. Neither have I. Yeah, just another option to... What lane? All the amount of problems. Watermus Kisses, flying out, jabs Winter's Curse, but it doesn't really save him. They may find MNZ, but no, he has the uh, the Battle Trance available. They at least get an Edict off, or rather MJZ made a mistake there, but it doesn't matter. They're going to find DJ, or maybe they won't. He does get out. Savage moving forward. He wants the Oracle, but that was maybe a bit too greedy of him. He'll be okay, he'll Strength Morph, he'll survive as Ice 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 now does have level 6, he did buy the tomb. Rolling Thundering in, wanting to go after that troll though, Cookie is going to push him forward. Still trying to find the stun and does get it, now Savage should be able to clean him up though. Whirling Axes will slow things down, but not quite enough. They do get 2 kills as Matthew also drops on the snap. Weird timing with the Fates Edict. Savage, gonna get jumped on by Frank, he does have Lasso, I don't think they have the damage though, he is strength morphing right now, or maybe they do, Savage, he's falling very very low, waveforms out, but Frank is just right on top of him, as they're gonna go after Ice Ice Ice, Fortune's End will end up connecting Frank against the Flame Break as well, and with the sticky napalm stacks, he has Swashbuckle in a second, but it's all gonna be too late. There's like a lot of Yules, Frank gonna tank the game here, he's gonna have to take it. And we'll pick up the kill, but I, I agree with these uh these 
Like, the item builds are very strange, because it did start off with just the Yules on the, uh, the Ember to set up the Remnant. So it's just gravy. Frank, top plane, pops the drums, but immediately the Rolling Thunder comes through. Can he actually reach anyone? He wants to go for Jabs first and get rid of that Winter's Curse. He still hasn't quite got there as Jabs. Looks like he wants to turn around for the Curse, but eventually does go down still Frank. He'll go down as a trade. Look, that's what we're going for. He does eventually get rid of it, but I was a bit concerned about that kind of item build. I just seemed like he was never going to find that MKB. This is a, this is a low mana morphling. It Savage, is. nothing in the tank, really. Strength morphing up, trying to survive. They do get MJZ on the Oracle. Now the Winter's Curse there on the Batrider. Frank, he is able to get out of that, but now the Rolling Thunder, I size size. He's going to control up the side of Thunder Predator. Lasso still comes out, but it will not matter. Frank, he does die now, Leo style. Really nowhere to go. He, they do at least get Matthew, as Leo does manage to run away. And MNZ, he's been left alone. Nobody there to help him out. He'll try to get jabs at least, but he won't even find that. Suddenly, Fnatic looking a lot better. 4k net worth lead for this dying side. So careful. As I say that, he gets jumped by Moon. Yeah. Oracle going to fly uh, fly out with the cookie, though DJ's not giving up. Dream Coil is ready to go. He throws a silence out. Do you want to commit Dream Coil here? He does. Or going to be available in a second. Although maybe he can't finish the kill. The False Promise is there in time. But now Ice 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 threatening with the Rolling Thunder. Doesn't end up throwing it out anyway. And, uh, whoa. DJ. What was he doing in the Radiant Face? Savage now. May get caught out bot lane. The Yule Split Earth is going to be there, but he has already started Strength Morphing. Lasso going to come out as well, and they do have the damage output. On the on the Prowl, looking for something. This is somewhat unexpected, given that their Morphling is currently dead. They just smoked on the side of Thunder Predator. Moon, gonna get defused up, he'll Astral Stamp, Frank, gonna be the main priority target though, Ice Ice Ice, getting caught out on the Pangolin, will go down, now they want to chase for more, Fnatic though, seem to be well and truly away. Smart little play, Savage now, has an Aegis, Kiss has been wasted. Um. Oh, Lasso, gonna catch out Jabs. Does go down though, Ethereal is there from Savage, he couldn't quite find the Adaptive Strike, and Matthew just TPs away with his Glimmer Cape. Missing. Still, it's such a low cooldown ability though, Lasso gonna be there, DJ getting caught out with the Split Earth as well from Leo style. Does actually drop, and drums have been popped. Thunder, they uh, seem convinced someone else is around in the tree line, but nobody is there. He might change his mind, maybe he goes for the Basher or something instead. Matthew, caught out bot, does have the Glimmer Cape, but it will not matter. Was near a Sentry Ward and does get caught out. Thunder Predator, they're going to start pushing in that top lane. Try to force the side of Fnatic back a little bit. Of course, you've got a 10 second charge available on the left, so they want to try and smoke and make a play right here, right now. Lasso is going to be there, and they have caught out Ice Ice Ice, but a three man Dream Core coming out from DJ. They don't quite get the shotgun over onto the troll. He will mantle that off, and now just waveform out from Savage as he BKBs up. Fnatic looking to not really want to take this team fight any longer. And uh, that'll be it. Just the kill onto Ice Ice Ice. BKBs were popped by MNZ. And they just back off. Yeah, just gonna have to keep our keep our eyes peeled. Oh, never mind. Lasso gonna be there on jabs. And this Wyvern will get bursted immediately, though Dream Call is there from DJ, but it only catches the Lesh Rack. Can they blow him up in time? He'll use up Savage, he BKBs up. They try to find Frank with the Batrider, but he does not die to the shotgun blast as MJZ does eventually go down on the Oracle. Now MNZ pops a BKB, but he's all by himself. And he has Matthew, but that, he's being controlled up by Ice Ice Ice, and yeah, that BKB charge is completely wasted as he just runs out of there. Now, instead of going after the troll, they go back for Leo style, who was hiding the tree line. Bloodstone charge was popped, MNZ. Nice mat to dodge on the shotgun again from Savage. And they are actually going to find Ice 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 once again with the Pango. Savage copying a lot of damage from these kisses, and MNZ holding him down. He's got no mana, and he will end up dying as Moon. Going to BKB TP away. But DJ may not be so lucky, or maybe he will be. Nobody's there to cancel the TP. It looked great for Fnatic for a while, but Thunder Predator, they just kind of kited around, came back and took the win.
MLP. The, the fact that he went for those so early, he was able to go all the way back to the fountain, heal all the way back up, and then uh, re-engage into the fight. Minzy, looking to start a team fight down a bot lane. They have found Frank on the bat rider though on the Fnatic side, so he's on the cliff. Moon will join him up there. They actually push him off and break the dream call as Matthew now gonna be chased down by Moon. Should be a very easy kill though. Leo style does pick up jabs on the Wyvern. Now False Promise will keep Matthew alive and actually DJ also losing his life to MNZ on the Troll Warlord. They do eventually get Matthew down as the False Promise, there just wasn't enough healing through it. But it's a 2 for 2 trade, buyback expended on Frank, on the Batrider, fairly even in the end. For Savage to get these combos off successfully, um, can even just what spell off the... Oh, poor Damn. Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, nice chain stun from Thunder Predator. Tried to split push the top lane, and uh, I mean, I guess it is a support pango after all, so... Uh, the, the Lash or something like that. They smoke in onto the troll, that's a lot of damage on MNZ, but there's the False Promise, just in the nick of time. Winter's Curse, though. He's gonna connect on two, Mortimer's Kiss is gonna fly out, MNZ still going forward, trying to find a pick off at least. Looks like they still want to chase down this troll as Ice 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 does get the stun off. Meanwhile, Moon straight onto Matthew in the back. They get the snap fire. MNZ. How do you find your way out of this one? He doesn't have Battle Trance available. Moon finding another one in MJZ and they do get the Aegis on the troll. And it looks to be like they could find the secondary kill. As he really has no way out of this. He will try. He's been disarmed by Ice Ice Ice. And actually turns around for the Abyssal Blade shot onto the park, but DJ will just phase shift. And this should be the fourth death of this team fight. In fact, it could be, could be a full team wipe as the Leshrac is kind of uh, out there at the top lane. But MNZ does go down and Fnatic all of a sudden win a huge team fight. And that's going to be a pretty big net worth swing going their way. He needs to use the Battle Trance to get some more healing and uh, Fnatic capitalize. Heavily on, on all that cooldown expenditure. Great initiation from them, and this is gonna even get them a lane or axe. Yeah, it is. Savage just has so much damage on that Morphling, it's just so easy to take. Thunder Predator not gonna be too satisfied about what's happening now. It just seems like they had such a big lead. Down to these small initiations, and Frank just walking blind uphill. That's not the way. No. Oh, Frank. I think so at, at this point. But though I also I can I can see why they the, the, like over under the Thunder Predator side uh, for a little bit there while they had the Aegis and whatnot they just need they need to get another big fight out of the troll um, but hasn't been able to do it and Fnatic are making very quick work of these buildings they sure are Frank's doesn't have buyback no way to get into this moon just jumps in straight onto MJZ a great great pickup but. The buyback is there automatically. Moon needs to get out before that BKB is over. Savage going after the troll. The troll falling quite low. He has Battle Trance. He does get it in time with the False Promise. MNZ though hitting creeps right now with that Battle Trance. That's not what you want. As the kisses are going to fly in. Leo style he at least gets jabs. But they've lost MNZ. He doesn't have buyback available. Now Moon jumps in onto Leo style. They want this Leshrac so darn bad. And they're going to find him as well. The immediate buyback. But they've got Oracle. And that's going to be a dieback on him. MG. Jay-Z, no way back into this game is Frank, he's gonna die, three heroes down, no way back into this game, and it looks like Fnatic may have clutched it out. It's just, I don't know how you stop this T4 push any longer. Yeah, like that should be the end of it. Troll, that was miserable to watch Troll in his last couple of fights. Just getting kited around in circles, he broke the dream coil. Uh, maybe intentionally because they had the, the false promise coming shortly after, but then also just the worst case scenario with popping a battle trance and latching onto illusions. Uh, not the cleanest win for Fnatic, but uh, still a nice one to have all the same, especially as it.